Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Jacob Lovern here, and today we are starting another segment of answering your questions. Now, uh, boy, I've gotten some questions today, and some, this first segment's going to be random questions, because I've got a lot of random questions on this paper, and yes, I'm still using paper. Shut up. <laughs> I'm kidding. But I've got a lot of random questions from people, and for some reason, some people just don't want to hear stuff about animals and stuff like this. They'd rather hear me say stupid stuff. But nonetheless, I'll answer these questions because, to be fair, I'll just make a video. And sometimes random questions can w yield a funny answer, so let's get started. Alright. Sorry if I get this paper in the way. Okay. Alright, what's the first question? Okay, first question from Jake Wilburn. I uh, hope you're watching this. <laughs> what is the hottest star in the universe? In our universe, it's going to be the sun, On obviously. It'll be the sun. Now, if you're talking about a hottest star like a person, ooh, I think that would be Natalie Portman. Just kidding. <laughs> okay, next question. Uh, let's see. Who's next? Okay. Ah. This one's from Duran Sanders, and I don't know if he'll watch it or not, but he gave me a weird question anyway. He asks me, why do you guys have nipples? Oh, Lord. Well, because in the first week of the embryo's development for a human, they take the body plan of a female for a girl. Oh, boy. And after 60 days or so, then hormones like testosterone kick in to help produce a male. So you have nipples because you're, you were first being made a girl and thanks to your dad giving you an extra hormone, you're lucky to be a guy. Not lucky, but you know what I mean. That extra hormone made you a guy. You, were, you have nipples because... Why am I saying this crap? <laughs> Why am I doing this? Oh boy. You have nipples because for the first week of development you're taking the body plan of a female. And then, after 60 days or so, you're starting to develop guy parts. So let's leave it at that. Oh, Lord. That's so weird. It should I should go to Jeff for saying crap like this. Okay. Ooh, next question is from Jordan Payne. He asks me, why do some people sweat more from their feet than their body? That's because you're wearing shoes with socks in them. Now, I know you're supposed to wear socks so that way your shoes and your feet don't stink, but still, the main reason your feet, why people's feet sweat so much is because they're wearing socks and shoes on very hot days and they're working really hard. Trust me. And between you and me, if my sister didn't wear her socks on her shoes, her feet would stink. They would stink like a freaking polecat. I'm not joking. <laughs> and all of you who know my sister, you know how much her feet stink. Okay. Oh, boy. Do we have any more questions? Ah, my last question for this segment will be from Brandon Collins. He asks me, what is my favorite dragon? Well, from movies, my favorite dragon would have to be Toothless from How to Train Your Dragon. That's my favorite dragon just because of how he looks, because he's very smart. Overall, he's pretty cool looking. You can't, agree, you can't disagree with saying that he's not a cool looking dragon. But in books, in books, my favorite dragon would be Smaug from The Hobbit. Because I know that dragon from when I read the book and... I kind of like him. It's a pretty cool dragon. And in medieval literature, it would be Fafnir the dragon from... Oh, who was it? Someone look up Fafnir and put in the comments what freaking stories he's from. I'm pretty sure it's from Norse mythology. Or is that Beowulf? I'm pretty sure. Okay. But basically from books, it's going to be Smaug. From movies, it's going to be Toothless. Okay. Alright, that's it for today, guys. Well, not for today, because i got two more videos I'm going to do. <sighs> that's going to take a few hours. And, um... What was I going to say? Ah. Like, comment, subscribe. And also, there are notifications... For... To get notified about new videos, you'll have to click on this bell figure when you sign in or subscribe to my channel, which is stupid, and YouTube should know that. You guys tell them. <laughs> okay. Well, like, comment, subscribe... Spread the word. 
And if I can get up to enough subscribers, I'm going to start taking in emails from people to get questions. Okay. That's enough. I'm going to start the next video. See you guys in a, another video. See you in a second. Aloha.